it's nice to get company for all the way from Blind River too. How wonderful is that? So thank you very much and uh, welcome to From Soup to Tomatoes. My name is Renee. I'm a registered nurse and personal trainer, but mostly I uh, exercise because uh, everyone in my family is quite overweight and uh, suffers from different conditions related to that. So I didn't want that to be my, uh, you know, going into my older age, uh, having that as an issue. So I started to work out. So right here, let's begin with a march. Shoulders back, chest out. And when I first started to work out, uh, I would do a circuit of machines. You know, I would go to the gym, I would do the treadmill, and then I would do a circuit of machines because I was told, you know, this is... This is how you work out. And then I found that I couldn't really apply those same movements to everyday life. Like I was trying to do monkey bars with my son and it was a rude awakening for me that I couldn't do that. So I changed my workouts after that. So I added a little bit of cardio in between. I copied somebody else's workout and it was way more effective. I got stronger. I used more body weight exercises that are safer and doable and my body got stronger and I can lift myself up now. No problem. So thinking about that, uh, think about where you want to be with your fitness, right? Going into a new year soon. So we want to think about that, but mostly the health benefits, right? So uh, being able to move, being able to wash your hair and do activities of daily living, super important. And that's why I make the exercises the way that they are. So with that in mind, shoulders back, chest out. We begin with our shoulder stretch. It's actually a chest stretch. So we want to push the palms back, squeeze the shoulder blades down and back. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, squeeze down. And you know, for all of you that are dedicated to really doing fitness in your life, if you ever have to take a break because of an illness and you need to recover or something like that, keep in mind that reversibility doesn't occur for about 8 to 12 weeks. So that means that you can take a little break sometimes if you need to heal from something uh, without too much uh, muscle atrophy or breakdown of your muscle that you work so hard for. <sighs> right? So think about that. Don't feel bad if you do have to take a break at any time and just uh, need to heal from whatever, you know, if you have to have foot surgery or something like that. So shoulders back, chest out. <laughs> I just noticed that I'm, uh, I'm missing my second hand. So here we go, forward, big deep breaths. <sighs> so on Friday, it was Remembrance Day, right? So you kind of did like a military-inspired workout. But that didn't really cover uh, necessarily all the exercises that we want to cover when we're thinking about mobility and our abilities to function every day in life, right? So this is one of them that really helps. <sighs> also toe taps. So let's take it down to toe taps. Shoulders back, chest out nice and tall. Feet hip width apart, toes pointing forward and we're stacked, right? So our, our heels, our, our knees are aligned with our hips, our shoulders are back, our chest is out. Good. So my uh, point of all of this is that we want to prevent morbidity. So we want to decrease the likelihood that we'll get sick. So shoulders back, chest out. And that's a big motivating factor for me. So I don't know, I, I'm hoping it is for you too. So thinking of that, let's reach up, shoulders back, chest out, keep those toes tapping. <laughs> it's different with no second hand, you know, usually I go by 30 second intervals. All right, here we go, I got one over there. Woof! One more deep breath. Now we're gonna go pinky finger, pinky finger, all the way to the thumb. So just a slight difference, pinky finger, all the way to the thumb. Big deep breaths. All right. Feeling good? Are you feeling like you're getting warmed up? Fantastic. 
So I would consider these like reaches because you're reaching up and then down. Let's do it even slower. So we got about 15 seconds left. We're going to reach, 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 and then slowly come down. Again, reach, 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 and then slow. <laughs> come on, slower, slower, slower. Five seconds left. One more time. Really slow this time. Really slow, slow. Hold back gravity. Ooh, that's better. Feel the difference when you slow it down. Momentum is not your friend. It isn't. All right, so let's go to calf presses. Shoulders back, chest out. Lift and slowly lower. And then if you want to add a little bit of a neck stretch or coordination, you can look over one shoulder. You could try to let go and go on your toes and then look over one shoulder. That's very challenging, right? Whew. A lot harder, a lot harder, right? Good job though. Feel all those muscles like waking up. Up. All right, one more time on each side. Woo. <laughs> Up and to the side. Very good, very good. So, feet uh, flexed. We didn't do any leg raises last time. So let's start just with the legs. So soften the leg. We're standing on, flex the foot, lift it and lower it. One, lift and lower. We didn't do these on Friday. Lift, three, four, one more, one more, five. Let's add the same arm. Big deep breath. One, two. Remember, you could do this seated if you like. Three, enjoying two more. Four, five. And then we'll do the other side. So shoulders back, chest out, seated or standing, just the leg, just the leg. One. Soft on the leg we're standing on, nice and tall. Two. You could do it nice and slow if you want. Three. Especially going down. Four. One more, one more. Five. And then reach. Big deep breath. One. Woo! Two. Let's enjoy it. Three. Four, five, fantastic, fantastic. Now let's do uh, to the side. So again, just five without the arm, five with the arm, so we can notice the difference. So remember, you want your knee to point forward and lift with your heel. So I know the tendency is to do this. Try to turn it so that the leg is pointing forward and try to stay really tall. Two. That's it, yes. I like it. Three, four, five. Now, same arm, same arm. So, big deep breath. One, two, three. Now, just the other side, just the other side. So, big deep breath, lift, heel up, toe pointing forward and down. So, if you're seated, you're doing a great job. Flexed foot exactly, pressed into your other leg. Three, woo, four, one more, five, and then same arm. One, woo, two, three, four. Are we going to enjoy this last one? Five. Fantastic. March those legs out. Nice high knees forward and back. One minute. Woo. And anybody else getting warmer? Huh? Get warmer. That's a good place to be if you're getting warmer. 
I love it. Big deep breaths. Fantastic. Thank Good. Let's add a little bit of uh, arms out to this movement. Shoulders back, chest out. Woo! Fantastic. Good. We have our shoulders back, our chest out, feeling tall. Big deep breaths. Five seconds to go. Four, three, two, one. Fantastic. Now, if you want to take a little drink, go right ahead. Otherwise, we're going to move on to the weight portion. So you'll need two dumbbells, okay? Okay, yes, yes, good. All right, everybody ready? Are you excited? All right, we're going to start with a row kickback. So shoulders are back, chest is out. We're going to get into our deadlift position. So we want a neutral spine. And then roll the elbows up and kick back. Come back, release down. Roll up, kick back, come back, release down. Right? Shoulders back, chest out. Soften those knees for that neutral spine. Pull your abs in. Good. So we're at number five now. Only five more left. Shoulders back, chest out, roll. Kick back. Back to row and down. Four more. Row. Kick back. Back to row and down. Three more. Row. Kick back. Back to row and down. Two more. Woo! One more. Row and down. Fantastic. So shoulders back, chest out. We can go up into our full chair squat. If you're taking care of your knees, you can have your legs together, right? Also an option. Just staying seated, also an option, right? Shoulders back, chest out, squeezing and curling. So hammer curl. Two. Right in it, right? Right in it. Three, squeezing our bums, pulling our abs in. Why are we doing this? Are we doing this to get stronger? Oh, I like those. I like those. That's good. Woo! Slowly down then, slowly down. Oh, yes. Here we go, halfway. Shoulders back, chest out. Curl. Don't these feel fantastic right now? Woo! We're getting stronger. Shoulders back, chest out. Woo! And that's huge. That's fantastic. Four more. Shoulders back, chest out, abs in. Are you squeezing your bum? If your legs are together, are you squeezing your inner thighs? Three more. Three more. Woo! Shoulders back, chest out, curl. Go slowly down. Two more, two more. Woo! Yeah, do we feel good? Are we warming up? Does that feel fantastic? Those are our muscles creating that heat. Oh, yes. Squeeze it. Curl it. And down. Fantastic. Okay, so I am super setting it right now. So it's going to be, actually, we'll do the upright row first. So palms facing our thighs, we're going to lift and squeeze, and then release. Shoulders back, chest out, lift, squeeze, and release. So we get a little break for our biceps till we get them again, because we're supersetting them today. Woo! Three. And why do we do this one? For our upper back, so squeeze them. Four. Let's go even slower. Lift, squeeze, and then slowly, slowly down. Notice the difference. Oh, I know. Let's do five more like that. Five more. Squeeze your bum. Pull your abs in. Squeeze your upper back. And then slowly down. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Squeeze it. 
Control it down. Right? Three more. Up. Squeeze. And down. Fantastic. Two more. Up. Squeeze it. And down. One more. Up. Squeeze. And down. Wow, right? So let's curl it in. Bring those arms all the way up for our shoulder press. Big deep breath. Press it up. One. Squeeze the shoulder blades down and back. Squeeze your bum. And two. Woo! And three. Oh, yeah. Shoulders back, chest up. Four. Are we getting stronger or what? Big deep breaths. Five. We are. We are. Six. Feel it. Be in it. If you need to drop the weights to finish, that's fine. Seven. We're almost there, though. Squeeze your bum to get through it. Eight. Big deep breaths. Nine. Shoulders back. Chest out. Last one. Savor it. Ten. Woo! Bring those arms down into our standard curl. So we're going to go down to bent elbows, right? Up, turn, reverse curl. Good. And then we turn it back. Up, turn, reverse curl. Two. <laughs> Good. Squeeze your bum. Plant into those two feet. Three. Feeling your forearms yet? I can feel mine. Four. Looking really good. Looking really good. Woo! Let's squeeze our bum to get through this. Shoulders back, chest out. Five. All right, we're halfway there. We're halfway there. We should start to feel this by now, right? Because it's the second bicep exercise. Four more, four more. Big deep breath. Shoulders back, chest out, curl. Reverse and down. Three more. Big deep breaths. Okay, two more, two more. We got one more and then I got one more exercise. It's a little bit tough. It's a little bit of a tough one. Okay. Okay, one more exercise with the weights, okay? Shoulders back, chest out. It's a shoulder one. Big deep breath. We're going to go forward with the elbows. Big deep breath. Squeeze your bum. Squeeze your shoulder blades back. Good. That's two already. Two already. Three. Everyone, squeeze your shoulder blades back. That's it. Halfway there already. Halfway. Just five more little ones. Just five more little ones. Let's feel it. Four more. We put these weights down. Squeeze your bum here and pull your abs in. Two more. Two more. Big deep breaths now. Let's not rush it. Let's not rush it. Let's savor it right here where it's difficult. Good job. Pull those elbows in. Put your weights down. Take a drink. Take a drink. Yeah, it's good. Woo! You earned it. Fantastic. All right. One ab exercise, one cardio exercise. So let's do high knees. High knees, standing nice and tall. One minute. I got to look on this clock. There we go. All right, when you're ready. High knees is going to work you hard every single time, right? Even if you were seated, like this is a good workout, and it's getting abs at the same time. So it's really beneficial. Good. Woo! See? Do you feel your heart rate go up already? Huh? Forgot all about the weights now. Now, all you can think about how fantastic these knee raises are, yes? Woo! Good. Ten seconds left. Woo! Are we starting to feel 
these. Huh? Fantastic. Good job. Good job. All right, let's do abs. So we're going to do nice crunches. Remember, if you want to put your hands here, that's fine. Open your chest, tilt your bum back. Exhale, push your bum forward. Bring your rib cage down. Feel your abs contract. Once you're connected to your abs, then if you want to add the chest expansion, go right ahead or enjoy it seated. Good, 30 seconds left. One ab exercise, one cardio move. Let's press into those feet, make those abs come in. 15 seconds left. Make each one count. Woo! Tighten that belt. Pull those abs in. Big deep breaths. One more. Fantastic. All right, let's do a different leg raise this time. So we're going to take inside leg, opposite arm, 10 of them, okay? Big deep breaths. So you could take the arm out of the equation or sit, right? Big deep breaths. Okay, big exhale. Big. That's it. Pull those abs in to help pull that leg up. Stretch up as high as you can. Three more here. Three more. One more. One more. Fantastic. Other side. Don't forget to stretch, right? When you're planted here with your heel out and your opposite arm, what a great opportunity to stretch diagonally through the body as you soften your leg that you're standing on. Reach and crunch. Each one is special, right? Each one, reach and crunch. Woo! Let's do it like we mean it. Five more. Four more. Three. Two. And one. All right. Now we gotta do opposite arm and leg going laterally. So shoulders back, chest out, opposite arm and leg. You could be standing behind your chair, holding your chair, right? Shoulders back, chest out, lift through the heel, three. The stretch on this one is up, four, right? So you can stretch here, five. Yeah, yeah, stretch there, stretch, stretch. Six, that's it, that's it. Seven, Woo. eight, nine, one more, ten. I love it, I love it. Shoulders back, chest out, other side. One, Woo. two, enjoying three. Stretch here. Woo! Soften the leg you're standing on. Four. Five. Let's enjoy five more. Woo! Four more. Three. Three. Let's stretch now. Two. And one. Fantastic job. Fantastic. So we're going to go back to our row kickback. So if you want to grab both of your weights, it's going to be super fun. So what are we working again with the row? The narrow row, we work the latissimus dorsi. So remember to keep your elbow tight, squeeze it against your rib cage up. And from that position, you do the kickback, right? And then release it to a still set position. Back up for the row, kick back, back to the row, and down. All right? So shoulders back, chest out, feet hip width apart. We bend forward into our deadlift position. Abs in, shoulders back, elbows soft. Row up and squeeze against your rib cage. Kick it back, release the row, and then down. Shoulders back, chest out, 
row. Kick back, back, and down. Shoulders back, chest out, row. Kick back, back, and down. Squeeze each time. Squeeze those elbows together. Kick it back from there. Squeeze your elbows together again. Release it down. Row. Kick back, back, and down. These last four ones are super important. So let's really squeeze it and breathe. Kick back, back, and down. Realign. Shoulders back, chest out, knees soft. Row. Kick back, back, and down. Two more. Row. Kick back, back, and down. One more. Row. Kick back, back, and down. Bring it back to your legs. Come up nice and tall. Fantastic. Woo! Good, right? Good. All right, so squat and curl. So again, you can have your legs together and protect your knees, engage your inner thighs. I really like that position, actually. And then feet hip width apart, toes pointing forward, pressing into both feet and making sure that the knees stay over the ankles or just staying seated. Squeeze your bum, pull the abs in, and curl. Slowly down. Woo! Good job. Two. Really good, really good. Squeeze up, shoulders back, chest out. Curl. And down for three. That's it. And up, shoulders back, chest out. Four. Are we feeling it? Is it fantastic? Woo! Feel yourself get stronger. Squeeze your bum. Pull the abs in and curl. Go slowly down. Five. We're halfway there. Down. Up. Shoulders back. Chest out. Squeezing. Curling. And slowly down. Keep your bum squeezed. All right. Four more. Big deep breaths. Position looks awesome. Nice. All right, three more. What are we going to do with them? Are we going to press into both feet, engage those glutes and inner thighs, squeeze those abs, feel the curl? All right, good job. Good job. Woo! Here we are, getting stronger. That's so fantastic. One more, one more. Good. So let's do the upright row next. So palms to the front of the thighs. Or here, or here. Shoulders back, chest out. Squeeze your bum, pull your abs in. Lift and squeeze your elbows back to squeeze your upper back. And slowly down. Shoulders back, chest out, lift. Squeeze your upper back. Yes, chest out and down. Shoulders back, chest out, lift. And squeeze. This is our upright row. Working the uh, upper shoulder muscle. Here we are, lift. And squeeze. Those look fantastic. Five more. Lift and squeeze. Woo! Do you feel those? Oh, good. Lift and squeeze. Three more. Three more. Lift and squeeze. Good. Two more. Two more. Fantastic. And one more. So next one is the shoulder press, wide shoulder press, which works all three deltoids. So if we sat to do it, we could use the back for our nice bench here to support our backs. Shoulders back, chest out, reach up. Big deep breath, exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades down and back. Up. Good. Now if you're standing, squeeze your bum. If we're seated, let's squeeze our bums. Big deep breath. Pull those abdominals in, reach, shoulders back, chest out, five more. I like these seated, these are pretty good, right, isn't that comfortable? Four 
four more. Woo! Three more, three more. Look, we're all sharing this beautiful experience. Two more. All getting strong together. Woo! We should do one more. One more. Just one more. One more. We're doing so good. What's an extra one? Woo! Good job. That was like 11, but good, good. Huh? That was fun. All right. So we're going to do a standard curl to reverse curl. Good. Maybe legs together would be more appropriate. Here we go. Yeah, good. Feels good, right? Woo! Your elbows look fantastic. Three. Keep them tight. Keep them tight. I only see one person with them out. So that's pretty good. Especially doing the reverse curl, right? Keep those elbows in for all the curls. Unless we're doing a different variation. All right, five more of these. Five more. Enjoying four more. Three. Good job, good job. Now we feel it, right? Two. Good. And now our shoulders have had a little break. One more. So we're going to bring those arms back up. And if you're doing it seated, you might as well sit back and enjoy the, the support of the back because it's a chest fly. So big deep breath. Exhale together. Big deep breath. Exhale together. Woo! Squeeze those shoulder blades back. Exhale, elbows together. Four, woo, five, oh yeah, six, let's feel it, this is it, seven, woo, eight, big deep breaths, nine, and one more. Good job, good job. Put those weights down, and we're going to do that cardio boost one more time. So we'll do marching to the side this time, right, to the side. So if you're doing it seated, right, you can just go to the side. Maybe not even put your leg down. Just take it out to the side, and that's it. Good. So let's add some arms. Let's add some arms. Actually, I should do opposite opposite yeah opposite's better yeah if you're uh if you're walking it though you could just do one do the other whatever it's all good both <laughs> i don't know just move <laughs> that's good fantastic Woo! 15 more seconds Are we having fun? Woo -hoo! That's right. That's right. We should. Woo! Enjoy it. Feel it. Three, two, one. And then we're going to do side bends. So feet hip width apart or feet together, huh? Shoulders back, chest out. Exhale over. Inhale, tall. Exhale, over. Inhale, tall. I love it. Same thing can be done seated. And tall. I'm trying to engage my inner thighs. Press into both feet. Get as tall as I can. And do a nice side bend. So 15 more seconds. Inhale up. So this is a nice stretch, but it's also a 
side crunch, and a spinal exercise. Three, two, one, done, done. All right, so we have about five minutes left of the workout. And so I thought we'd do, we don't have time to do a whole other set. So instead, why don't we do some maintenance exercises that are good for everyone to do, right? So we'll see how many sets we can get through. So we're going to do rotator cuffs first. So if you can get your hands closer to your lap, better. And elbows stay really tight against you and against the back of the chair. You go as far as you comfortably can. And then come back. As far as you comfortably can, where you start to feel mm, something happening, then you stop there. It's a good lesson in that. Uh, listening to your body, right? One of the things you have to do when you start to exercise is start that journey of not just ignoring your body and plowing through, but to stop and listen and then come back, right? Take a moment to do that. Stop here. Where is it in your shoulder that's tight? And then come back. It's an interesting journey. Feel it. There you go. Yeah, better. One more after this one. So this is a deep rotator cuff. There's about four rotator, uh, four little rotator uh, muscles. And actually, we should start with the palms down because for me, that's the hardest one. So I'd rather start with the hard stuff and then with the good stuff, the easy stuff. So we'll let the... The palms kind of curl down without moving the forearms. Shoulders back, chest down, might as well be in good posture. And then up. So curl down, curl up. Three. Woo! Anybody else feel this one? Four. Five. Six. Four more. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten. Good job, good job. And then turn it over. We'll do the antagonist. So shoulders back, chest out at the tips of the fingers, and then we roll it towards the forearm. Tips of the fingers towards the forearm. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now keep in mind when we do these, you could use some much lighter weights, right? Because these are small joints. So, like if you feel like the like I have seven pounds right now, so seven pounds is a lot to do these particular exercises. But I like to make my wrist stronger, so. What the heck, you know, I'll stop if I can't do any more. Nice and slow, slower. Feel it all the way over. There you go. Four more. Three. Woo! Two. And then one more. One. Fantastic. And then from here, we might as well stretch our wrists. So make a fist, nice straight arm, and curl that fist in. Oh my goodness, it's tight. The straighter your arm, see the arm that I, I shouldn't cross my legs even, but the, the straighter my arm is, the more I will feel this stretch. So see, it's this, and see how far away my wrist is, and my forearm is really tight right now. We'll do the other side. So nice arm first. You make a fist. You grab that fist and you pull it gently towards the forearm. Perfect. I don't know what's happening here. Oh well. Good. And then we got to do the other side. So that was in. So we have to do out. So out is here. But do you recognize this kind of move? When we press our palms together, we're kind of doing this. 
Good. If you want to add the thumb, you know, a little a few circles with the thumb. So the, it'll be a different stretch further away, like towards your fingertips, compared to your palm. But getting the arm to be straight is uh, it's just like the first important part. So again, start with a straight arm if you can. And then you can do the fingertips, then do the thumb, and then closer to the palm perhaps. See, that's a better angle. I'm at least 90 degrees there. So the tight part's going in towards my forearm. So that will tell you, like the angle here, will tell you how tight your wrists are. And then uh, that will help you stretch them. So when we do this stretch, we're doing the same thing. And then when you take it upside down, you change the stretch. It's the same. So let's take one arm up. Let the arm go gently back. And just see if you can just tilt it back a little bit. And then you can let it maybe go down your back. See if we can get it to go a little further back. Big deep breath. And then the other side. So reach up. Let the arm go back. Check out where it is right now. And then gently kind of let it tilt back with gravity. One more deeper breath here. Good job, good job. And we'll release it. Fantastic, fantastic. All right, so let's do a hamstring stretch since we're seated already. So foot forward, if you can't see, there you go. Shoulders back, chest out. Take a deep, deep breath here. Press the chest forward, tuck the chin in. And now release the hands and the head down. Take three more deeper breaths here. Just noticing where you feel any tightness, maybe softening the knee if you need to. One more deep breath. Good. And then gently walk it back up. And we do the other side. So flexed foot, shoulders back, chest out. Come down. Release the arms down in a breath or two. Or if you want to go right into it, go right into it. Soften the knee, feel the hamstring or the lower back, and try to breathe into anywhere that's tight. Try to walk the hands forward. One more deep breath. Good, and then walk it up. So let's do the antagonist to that, which is the quad stretch. You could do it seated if you like. So here, or here, or here, pressing the knees together if you can, pressing the hip forward, opening the chest. Very good. It looks really good, everyone. Big deep breath here. One more. Good job, good job. And then the other side. Good, good, good. Big deep breaths, reach up. Fantastic. Good. Good job, good job. And before we go, let's do a shoulder stretch. So we'll take one arm over, bring it all the way over, bring the other arm in, maybe tight to the elbow, so that you can bring it into eagle's pose if you like. Or you can just stick to the horizontal shoulder stretch, if you like. Big deep breath. See if you can pull the shoulder blades down, pull the elbows down, away from the ears. Good. And then release it, do the other side, reaching out, coming forward, pulling the arm back and down. Maybe tightening up the elbows, intertwining the hands, or keeping them straight. Pulling both elbows down. Big deep breaths here. So good job today, good job. And good job on all of you to put all this effort into your health, into your strength. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. Have a wonderful day here from Soup to Tomatoes. And I will see you all on Wednesday, all right? Have a great day, good job.